there are more than 70 different dolls houses of all different shapes, sizes, styles and ages in this collection that's been built up over 40 years. It's the life's work of friends Caroline Hamilton and Jane Fiddick who share a passion for dolls' houses and a talent for bringing the miniature world to life. We were both at university together reading modern languages, but I'm a year older than Jane. Not quite, actually. Um... By a few days. <laughs> when my youngest child turned three and went to play school, I could get out of the house on Monday mornings and go to woodwork for beginners and I started building the house that's behind me now. The idea that she was building a doll's house made me think I could have a doll's house again too, and one thing led to another. We don't think that many people know just how sophisticated the hobby is. Uh, you have to be an upholsterer, a curtain maker, mm. a wallpaperer, painter, mm. electrician, mm. a woodworker, and if one of us has made something that we think is particularly successful, it's a question of, oh, well, one for me and one for her. Yes, absolutely. Very bad form to make something for yourself. Only. Oh, yes. A match made in miniature heaven. Or is it? You're very, very rude about my rats. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they're too big and too nasty very, and I don't very like nice them. They're nice rats. <laughs> Their creations have been exhibited all around the world and now they're on permanent display at Newby Hall in North Yorkshire. I'd like to give all the credit for this to Jane and it was her bright idea that we would t suggest to Newby Hall that they could have our Dolls House collection as a wet weather attraction. It was very nice to think that they're going to be shared and going to be on show. It's going to be possible for both of us to pop back and just keep an eye on them from time to time. But they needn't think that we're going to do the dusting every year. Each tiny room is shown in amazing detail and peopled by characters with real-life backstories. You, you need to know who lives there. And she's weeping because she's discovered that her husband has left all his money to his mistress. Though hugely popular since Victorian times, are they still relevant for children today? Oh, it's so hard not to play with them once you see one of these. I found it interesting, like, how detailed they are. It must have taken them a long time for them to do it. And we're the hare and the tortoise, really. I leap ahead and, and make a mess of things and just bodge my way through. And she is the meticulous one who gets everything right. As I so often say, she does talk an awful lot of rubbish. <laughs>